Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people, the Neomar here with another Card Survival Tropical Island video. Today we're going to be playing Talia the Thirsty again. I put back my save from day 145 at 2245. So basically the last episode you watched yesterday did not happen yet. I, um, yeah, I filled up some clay pot coolers with water, went to the beach, went back and my whole top row disappeared. Uh, I did not want to bother the developers by trying to like get that back for me so yeah i used that safe to experiment a little bit we cut a whole bunch of trees hurt our hands dehydrated ourselves and that's it anyhow uh we're gonna be redoing the last episode i'll be doing different things though let me talk with weston here though uh yeah let me just see what's going on here all right goats will goats Okay, goats seem to be pretty happy, that's good. Let's feed them. Can we milk the goat in the night? Oh no, it's too dark, that's fine. Let me check, am I still producing water? For my Alembics? Uh, we actually are, okay. There, let's fill that up. Uh, there we go. I prefer not to f empty it totally, because if you empty it totally, then you get this sort of lag when it empties, so you have to wait a little bit, have no no agency over the ways, so. Okay, we're gonna let this run a little bit more in the meantime. Uh, some wood cutting would be good, but I can't really see during the night, so that's not gonna work. Mm, I could explore a little bit, find some palm fronts here. I could also go to sleep. A lot of options here, a lot of options. Let me see, do I have like any sh sticks here? Well, I have plenty of sticks, how much can we carry? Well, not much actually. Not much actually. So the developers are working hard to fix uh, the bugs that we found. Uh, <laughs> there still seem to be some pretty interesting bugs. Well, one of my viewers, uh, Xcat, something like that, found, uh, found some interesting bugs when starting the new game, which uh, I did not notice. And I did not notice them because, well, they're pretty intricate, so let me show you. So it, they only happen during the start of the game. So if you have uh, two salt waters here filled up and you uh, empty them there for a stack, both of these will just vanish in the thin air. Obviously, that's not a problem for me, but um, if you started a new game, had a whole bunch of these, empty them so you can, uh, I don't know, do something useful with them. He, he uh, it also says that uh, if you have water in them and if you drink from uh, one of them, the stack disappears as well. And that one sounds really bad, so you have to take it into the inventory and then drink it. So yeah, start of the game is a little bit unstable now. So yeah. Anyhow, oh, we could spindle a bit here, so that's definitely an option. But I'm gonna fill this up with sticks first. So let's see how many sticks can we carry if we use a zack. I already did this kind of experimentation, but well, answer is a little bit more than usual. That's okay. Also, this thing is a bit easier to empty, so maybe I should just do a couple of zags here. There we go. Like that. That obviously doesn't take any time, so. That's really good. Okay, cool. Uh, let's uh, wash ourselves here. Uh, let's go and drink, and then I don't know. We'll see. Got a nipa fruit here. Yeah, I guess we did some wine at some point, and I noticed that the wine spools like super, super slowly. So that needs some attention. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go and see if we have any food here. Okay, that's fat and that's butter. Okay, so that's food. That's good. Oh, this was before I actually prepared the yams. Right. Let me start the fire here. So let's take our hand drill here. And I'm gonna cook, cook these fish scraps. One, two, three, four. I would also like to catch some fish. Yeah, let's, let's uh, sort out our food situation. And in this episode, I'll probably... Wait, what? The game pushed stuff out of these. Interesting. In this episode, I'll probably focus on wood cutting a lot because I want to unlock the. Uh, how do you call them? I want to unlock the 
the wood crafting recipes those sound very interesting to me so okay let's go back inside let's eat 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 there we go we didn't talk to Vestal in a while maybe I don't know I don't really remember okay and now let's put some fish in and prawns apparently there we go i could also bring some water here i probably don't want to, these to empty fully because last time when they emptied fully uh, i didn't really end up well didn't really end up well okay it's a little bit too heavy for us so we can empty it a little bit oh really oh there we go oh that's interesting wow okay see you can cheat you can cheat look at that and now when i move it in the inventory my weight will go up look at that oh huh how will they fix that how will they fix that See, the way it doesn't go up and down if you if you empty it. But when you move it around, then it updates. So if I empty it here, it's not going to register. But then if I move it, it's going to refresh it. Okay, so this is just a thing of like, when does the action trigger, right? So when you put, when you put your thing in the inventory, then the game recalculates its weight. But if you change its state while it's inside your inventory by doing some other interaction, it will not update it. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Huh. Okay. Well, we should report that as well. Not sure how they're going to fix it, but okay. Um, anyway, I want to fill these up. There we go. Well, obviously, there's still a couple of bugs here, so. It's like a huge system. I'm actually uh, surprised how well it works. Obviously, we had some problems with it, but uh, I'm no grouch, so. There we go. Get quartz. Of Getting quartz was never easier. That's amazing. It's like a huge difference. It used to take so much time. Now it takes like it takes less materials and takes only uh, a quarter of time. I think that's too strong, actually. But shh, don't tell, don't tell them, don't tell them. It's nice, it's nice. Don't tell them. Okay, what do we have inside here? Okay, we got some yams. I can probably cook that, but I don't know if I want to bother since we have so much other food and know what let's eat some yams there we go well, i'm gonna put them inside there for now i'm gonna eat them if we don't have absolutely anything else it's so nice uh, to have some more food here also the stacking of these inside the clay pot cooler is just amazing we have a whole bunch of fat here some butter which we can use as oil but uh, remember cannot use it as a uh, can I put this there? That would be too OP, right? Yeah. Need to extract the fibers. There we go. Okay. Plenty of food now. So that's good. I feel like going to sleep at this point and then in the morning we're gonna chop some wood. Uh, let's turn this thing off. Let's sleep. First though, I'm gonna go into the jungle, check the situation there. I could also like make some more snake grass crop plots. Uh, that would be pretty useful. So I'm gonna grab some ash here. So let's see, where's my backpack? So my backpack right now serving as container for various things here. I uh, need more ash. Okay, these don't have any ash. We have some charcoal, which we can crush into ash, which is also fine. Mm, let's go to the beach and do the, the beachy stuff. Beachy stuff. Um, Time. Okay, good. Right, I'm gonna grab these waters out. I'm gonna turn this off, these off. I mean, you can carry this if you want. 
how how long will it take to get there? One hour. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Anyhow, let's extinguish these fires. There we go. And uh, I want to grab some more charcoal and ash here. There we go. So four ash. I need some fertilizer. So I can carry two of these at a time, which is fine. So I'm going to put this inside the reservoir here. There we go. Full. Nice. And let's see now. Let's see. I can't carry all of that. So let's drop one off for now. This is still too heavy. Really? How about now? Okay. Uh, let's see if we have any M water skins that fit, could fill something like that. I don't know. Well, we have two water skins which are full. Get some salt water here. I guess... Uh, there we go. I'm gonna guess we're gonna keep them inside there. I could also give some water to my uh, goats. That would not be the worst idea ever. And also need some water myself, but okay. So what's your water at? 81%? Okay, 89%. Good. Okay, do we have any manure? No. Okay, 84%. Okay, this goat is fully done lactating. Uh, should we make something out of this? No, we're just gonna drink it. There we go. Some nice milk. And yeah, I'm gonna go to the jungle now, make some uh, crop plots. So for that, we'll need some fish, scraps. There we go. Exactly what I needed to fish. Um, no. I need some fresh ones. Uh, if I cut this open for fish scraps, that's just a waste, right? So I need some fish that I can eat. There we go. I'm going to need four. Wait, what? I got two fish scraps? Why did I get two fish scraps? Wait, what? You get two fish scraps now from fish? Since when? I think that might be a bug. <laughs> okay, anyone keeping note? <laughs> Maybe you should. Okay, uh, so let's see. Four fish scraps, four ash. We're gonna need some fertilizer as well, and then we will be ready. I'm thinking about making some more compost bins as well. There we go. And let's head out. Uh, I'm gonna need some sticks, right? Sticks, 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 sticks. Not sure how many I can carry, but we'll take as much as we can. There we go. And yeah, let's go make some more crop plots for snake grass because we always need snake grass, especially now that we can more easily turn uh, make uh, quartz from them. So, oh, I would already have to plant it, right? Right, right, right. Do we actually have any more fertilizer? Uh, no, we don't. Uh, there. Okay, let's water these. There we go. Let's go into the black cave, grab some water. But yeah, like I really love this patch. Like some some things are harder now, but uh, most things are easier. Like carrying bulky stuff, it's a little bit harder. But most of the time you will not be carrying bulky stuff, so you should be fine. I'll make a couple more crop plots anyway. We're gonna run out of water in the well, but that's fine. Let's see, dry puddle, grab some dirt. Now, we might get some bug bites here, which is not always the best thing, but um, I'm gonna be willing to risk getting camp fever here because, well, I wanna get rid of it finally. So only way you can really get rid of it is to like uh, succumb to it and, uh, and heal from it, okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, put some fertilizer. Then put some snake grass. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. 
Just another day in Newsville here. There we go. There we go. And let's grab a whole bunch of snake grass. So let's see, how much snake grass can you carry now? Well, answer is uh, a lot. So you can carry 12 in the backpack. Let's see how much you can carry in the sack. You can carry 10 snake grass in the sack. And I believe it's even better if you carry it inside the basket. As for dirt, I think it's about the same thing with dirt. So yeah, maybe before if you had full inventory at Zach's, maybe you would be able to carry a little bit more than now. I'm actually not sure. I don't have enough Zach's to try, but... Uh, I'm pretty happy with how much you can carry now. Anyhow, that's gonna be it for here. Let's head back. So 97, 97, definitely do not have enough fertilizer for all of these. Wait, didn't have... Okay, I put fertilizer weirdly here. Put one extra in this one instead of this one. Okay, now we're gonna get some more. Okay, let's go back and let's see what do we need to make some uh, more uh, fertilization happening. So I'm gonna make up some more compost bins here. Compost bins ready. Okay, that's gonna be good for tomorrow. So, let's see. Uh, farming, crop plot, compost bin. We're gonna need sticks, we're gonna need quartz. Quartz are not a problem. Sticks, however, uh, we're gonna need to find some, which is also not a problem. Uh, let me go and drink first, though. And. Huh. And uh, yeah, let me go wash. And I'm gonna need some palm fronds for the steel, so. Let's make that happen as well. There we go. Uh, I should empty my inventory first though. So yeah, it will take some adaptation to what we are doing, but uh, after we get nice and uh, adapted, it's gonna be way easier. I mean, that's that's 20, no, that's 22 snake grass, right? Yeah, so pretty good. Okay. There we go. Oh, I wanted to make something out of copper ore as well. I'll do it. I'll do it. No rush. We are a little bit hungry though. Let's eat. Oh, great clay pot cooler. What do you have for me today? A lot of nice stuff apparently. How tired are you of eating fish? Well, not tired enough. Okay. Well, we've been doing a lot of heavy lifting, so that can be tiresome a little bit. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's cut down some small trees. Just ignore the well in the jungle outskirts. It's like an elephant in the room. There we go. I created that thing when it was still possible, and well, now it stays here. Okay, that hurt my hands a little bit more than I would be happy to admit, but... Can you make double hand wraps though? How's my gear? So many questions. We need to need new hand wrappings anytime soon. Also, oh, these satchels could have put some snake grass in them. Totally forgot to have them. Yeah, really not playing optimally here, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Well, I forgot we wanted to do this. There we go. And then the goats are now stressed out if you have manure in their enclosures. So yeah, don't have manure in their enclosure. And yeah, let's grab our axe out of there and let's do some more wood cutting here. I mean, stick making. There we go. Our hands might hurt a little bit, but they will heal. I want some. Uh, I want some more compost, especially now with the goats. I'm really not using up all the manure at all. So, and th that's really good for the for the compost okay so my compost bin there we go I'm gonna need six six quarts eight quarts ah, no. let's grab ten here ok 
game. Built? Oh no. Why are we getting bug beaten at jungle outskirts? That's definitely not not good. I think we're gonna have a camp fever here. Okay. Uh let me let me let me let me let me grab a snake grass here real fast. Well okay, inside the mud hut it goes down. And at the beach probably goes down, right? But at the jungle outskirts it goes up, right? So usually I spend a lot of time in the mud hut, so it goes down. But I came back from the forest after I was there for a while, so... It went up and never went down, and now we have a problem. <laughs> now we have a big problem. What kind of problem, Neo? What do you mean? We might get camp fever because it's 146 days in the game. I got bug bites and I still did not endure the damn thing. We're gonna need 10 wood here, okay. So let's go inside. I could make some bug repellent now, but I think it's a bit too late. I'm gonna grab some aloe vera. Some vera vera. One, two. Let's go inside. In there. Okay, cool. So that's mostly for my hands. In there. I'm really not expecting to like avoid the dreadful thing, but uh, we'll see. You never know. You never know. Okay, uh, so I'll need some more food, so let's put that there. I'm gonna need some wood, so let's go outside and wood cut a little bit. Although it seems like now the wood is not as good as it used to be. I only get one wood by wood cutting. Not sure what that's all about, but um, yeah, it's definitely a thing. Well, actually, I can grab all the sticks, go inside, doesn't take any time to move between the mud hut and the surrounding area, so that's good. that's good because you can easily do this but yeah only one wood by wood cutting they definitely nerfed that they definitely nerfed that okay well i was complaining that the late game is too easy and well <laughs> they they accommodated it real good okay we got a couple of fish in there yeah let's grab them let's see what else can we eat Oh, actually had more fish. Okay. Should have eaten those instead. Yeah, why do we get so many fish scraps now from the fish? Is that a change? I don't know. Might be. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's turn this thing off and go to sleep. I put my axe inside there again. There you go. But yeah, will we get camp fever? Oh, there it is. Mild rash. So this is camp fever. You fight it by drinking a lot of spider lily and um, kawa. And yeah, mild headache. We have a minor headache. So yeah, we have camp fever so it's a dreadful disease that you can get from bug bites after day 30 so if after day 30 uh, the bug bites appear you will get it and i was able to play for 116 days without getting it i was always putting smoke on myself going to the jungle always playing super carefully never getting it always keeping my bug bites above this threshold here and today finally it happened we have the camp fever i've been talking now for quite a bit about uh, actually like surviving it so i don't have to think about it anymore so yeah now for the next couple of episodes it will all be about surviving the camp fever let's empty this so first things first we're gonna need to go into our medical cabinet here we have some dried spider lily leaves we have some ginger and we have some kava so i'm gonna drink all of this <laughs> <laughs> hungry hungry hippo right uh these have to be drink, drank boiled so we have to keep that in mind 
So I'm gonna put some water to boil here. Um, I don't know if I need these full, but let's just say we need. Carrying too much fate, that's fine, that's fine. We're not moving, so it's not gonna be too hard to do. Okay, two of these. Okay, three, four. Actually, let me do two of them at a time. There we go. I will also need to start the fire, so we're gonna do that. There we go. Now we're gonna grab a blunt object, like an axe or a stone. I'm gonna grind this down. There you go. Then we're gonna take the water out, uh, soak some spider lily and make some tea. So when you soak grinded spider lily with the boiling water, you get spider lily tea. It's free to drink, it's gonna hydrate you, but most importantly, it's gonna increase your spider lily effect meter, which will reduce the, the rash. Okay, it's already going down. That seems a bit too easy. Just one portion. Was this thing nerfed? Come on. You can do better disease in any case. In any case. Uh, so this ginger also goes inside there. Okay, let's boil a couple more waters. We're gonna, put, we're gonna make some ginger tea. I think I have become a master with the plants. <laughs> so interesting that it happens exactly when I'm making tea. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna make some ginger tea here. So ginger tea. Um, well, it makes your stomach calm, uh, helps with vomiting. Um, it will also reduce your sleepiness meter a little bit wake or increase the wakefulness meter, depending. Yeah. It's a little bit of a weird meter, but yeah, I guess you could stay awake until how long you want if you have enough ginger. That's definitely something I might try. Should we try to do a run where we never go to sleep? Is that even possible? Like, how how much ginger would, would we have to plant? Well, in theory, it shouldn't be too hard. Basically, you can turn wood into... You can turn wood into ginger, right? You can turn wood into water, you can turn water into plantations. Into ginger, and yeah, I don't think that's worth it, though. It would be super annoying to do, so... Okay, my hands hurt, right? from all this grinding there we go uh, okay I'm not gonna grind the cover root just yet but it's definitely on my list of things to do okay now got some water which I don't have to drink because I just drank a whole bunch of it it's almost day so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna catch some fish because I'm gonna be hungry soon again I can cook these though. I can eat the crab. What do we have inside here? Mm, not much. Okay, we got our fish here. Let me eat those. Yeah, I'm still surprised you get four scraps. That's that's probably not intended. In there. Okay, let's turn this thing off. Okay. Uh, it might be smart to go into jungle real fast just to check on things here. Put some more fertilizer on. Yeah, let's go and check. How are my goats though? Hello there, goat friends. Okay, we can drink some milk here. There you go. Milk, nice and tasty. Good for your bones. Okay, now... Let's go into the jungle, put some fertilizer on, and come back. And I'm gonna go fish a little bit. Oh, I'm super tired of eating fish. We're gonna vomit here. I did drink some ginger though, so maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, this one's the lowest, so this one gets it. Okay. I'm also running real low on water here, so... Something to keep in mind. These two are probably fine now though, so that's good. We also get some new water from the cave. There we go. And I'm gonna... Hmm, 
I'm gonna grab some Kava, some Lily, yep, sure enough, and some Ginger. There we go. I'll put that into our backpack here. There we go. And yeah, let's head back. Do we have any snake grass? Yeah, we do. Let's put these inside my satchels. I can carry f three in each. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, we're still a tiny bit overweight here. Um, I mean, will this help? Barely. Uh, well, um, this help tiny bit. Well, there we go. Yeah, I'm right now carrying five. Well, we are carrying these, so it's a little bit hard to say. But I feel like these are not very efficient, are they? Yeah, it feels like if you're carrying in the satchel, it's almost, it's basically the same as if you're carrying them in your hands, which is pretty bad, actually. Yeah, I feel like satchel needs a little bit of a buff. Okay, so I guess we keep the satchels empty. What happens? Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, satchel's kind of bad right now. I would expect that for something like snake grass, they would be okay-ish, but I guess not. Okay, this thing. <laughs> so with the ginger tea, these are just in balance, I guess. Okay. There we go. Uh, okay, empty that. Then I want to empty my medicine inside my medicine chest. So if these are bad, right? Maybe I should just carry this here instead, right? Yeah. Because it does seem like... This thing, when I put it here... You lose a little bit, but then when I put it off, you lose way more. So yeah, these are just burden at this point. Oof, that's bad. That's really bad. Satchels got kind of really nerfed. Okay. Well... I have my stuff here, so I'm gonna go into the medicine chest here. I'm gonna leave the dried one alone. Well, I'm gonna leave everything alone. There we go. Let these to dry, and yeah, it's gonna be fine. Let's go catch some fish, and then we're not gonna wrap this one up. So, well, we did catch some stuff. Why does the game push them out into my inventory, though? That's interesting. There. The back seems to be very good for the food, though. Food doesn't seem to be very heavy. So the camp fever lasts for like seven days, and during those seven days, you will have to. Um, well, fish's not gonna help much here, will it? You have to drink a lot of spider tea. You can find some crabs here by exploring maybe okay that's not gonna help okay a crab good okay let's cook that compost beans ready okay well, let's say I want to make another one is that even doable well for that we would have to get a lot of wood and wood seems to be way harder to get now that's one change I noticed you only get one wood each time you wood cut so maybe the best way to get wood is to like chop up the felt palm tree and yeah we'll see anyhow I should probably make a copper axe but 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 I'm gonna wrap this one up for now and I'll see you back tomorrow. I have to do this episode and I have to do another one for the Sunday because uh, it's Saturday for you while watching this, but I'm out of the city, so I can't record. So I have to do it in front. So a little bit shorter episode than usual, but 
Well, maybe not. Sometimes I had half an hour episodes anyway. So, anyhow, that's gonna be it. Uh, if you enjoyed my adventure here, I would be very happy if you like and subscribe. I'm gonna keep on exploring the current patch, reporting all the bugs, and hopefully soon developers can uh, like. Uh, clean it all up in the meantime i wish you all to have a wonderful day do something nice thank you all for watching and i'll see you back tomorrow numer signing out bye bye